Whether you're interviewing for a job or you just want to make a great impression where you already work, the way you dress can make a world of difference. Who knows that better than wardrobe stylist Walla? Here to talk about the ways to dress for success. And today we're talking about the power suit. And you have three different versions. The power suit. The power suit is always kind of your staple go-to for right. independence and power. And, you know, you're going in to get the job interview or you're going in for the first day of work or whatever it is. It kind of gives you that, that power that you can do anything. Right. right? It's kind of your superhero costume, And everybody needs will. one. At least one power suit, at right? At least one power suit. Everyone's got at least one, right? You either it's black, navy, gray, kind of your staple colors um, in the corporate world anyway. See, you brought some examples. I brought some examples. What kind of person would wear this? Conservative, less conservative? Well, more, I would say medium, medium conservative. Okay. Um, not too conservative, not not super uh, modern or trendy. Mm. This is a sleeveless top, so sometimes oh. in the office, you know, it gets kind of drafty or cold or whatever it is, right. so you can take it on or off. This kind of the way that it presents itself is when you're going in for a job or interview, you don't want to be showing too much skin. You right. know, you want to go in and show them your professional side versus, oh, look at how fashionable I am or mm -hmm. look at how on trend I am. It's more about look at how great I am as an employee, right? Or and then you can take the jacket off once you're more comfortable and afterwards maybe you're maybe you're invited out to lunch with the group and Absolutely. then take the jacket off. Absolutely. Okay. So that's kind of your staple power suit, pants suit. It's it's kind of your the simple staple right. if you will. This one's pretty cute. This one's super cute. And that's this, a dress. This yeah, this like actually it. it's it's a dress that you probably already have in your closet. Something mm -hmm. that fits you great. You love it. It's got a higher neck. Again, it is a sleeveless so you can Put a black blazer over it. This actually came from a different suit. So this is the power suit kind of broken up. So here you have the blazer without the pants that go with it. And the interesting thing is there's a, a leather, faux leather detail. It yeah. not, it's not the typical blazer with the collar. Absolutely. So this is maybe a less conservative person, someone who is more on trend with fashion. They have right. the, you know, there's not the full lapel. It's just kind of a leather detail to it. Again, you throw it on over a dress, give it a little bit of, of a funkier, cool feel to it. It looks neat. Okay. Then we've got another example here. This one looks to be, and tell me if I'm off, the most conservative of the ones that you've brought in. This is definitely the most conservative. Here you have a pencil skirt that's a little bit longer. I think it cuts right below the knee. Right. So again, you don't want to show too much skin. You don't want to show them that, hey, look at me. I'm so fancy and I, I, I'm so into fashion. You want to present your work versus what it is that you're wearing. Right. Um, so this is a more conservative suit. It's a wool blend. Again, we broke it up. These both came from different suits. So you break it up and you can kind of pair it differently. So it makes it more of that successful suit, but styled a little differently. I've noticed that I'm seeing more people and more girls lately wearing a, a fancier blazer as well with their jeans. Yeah. So these could double up as something more casual oh, later definitely. on, right? Yeah, the power suit, the, the great thing about it is yeah. its versatility. You can wear the jacket, say, with a dress, or you can wear it with a pencil skirt, or whatever it is, you can kind of make it work for whatever your day is. You know, casual Fridays, wear, wear that blazer with the pair of jeans. And Walla has an event coming up this Thursday, August 28th. The Heartland Women's Leadership Council is putting on the fourth annual Martini's Women in Shoes event. That sounds great. It, it is an awesome event. They have a full shoe runway show. All the uh, proceeds or part of the proceeds go to Dress for Success for Kansas City. And you'll have an exclusive shoe runway, luxury brands, all that stuff, Thursday at 7 o'clock. And we'll post this information as well on our website. Thanks, Walla. Thanks a lot. Great information.